and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with us here today on CNBC TV 18, watching yet another episode of Financial Quest, brought to you by the National Stock Exchange. We're coming to you today from Hubli, a city in Karnataka, which is known for its progress in business, and a young city in India in that sense, which is making its own mark as a city of great prominence and great talent. Here today, we are joined by 10 young teams from across this region of Hubli, Darwad, and Davangere. We're going to get started by introducing our 10 teams to you at the Hubli Regional Final of Financial Quest. Joining us as our first team here today from Darwad are Sri Manjunateshwara Central School. Representing them, we have with us here today Muhammad Manaziruddin and with him Shruti. As we move across to our second team here today, also from Darwad, our KE Boards English School, representing them Indu and Rajalakshmi. As our third team here today from Hubli, we've got with us MR Sakre, representing them Aditya and Shubank. As we move across to our fourth finalist here today from Hubli is DK Public School, Satvik and Priyanka, representing them. As our fifth finalist from Rashtrathana Dharwad, we have with us here today Manish and Omkar. As we move across to my near left and we have with us the Parivartan Gurukul Heritage, representing them from Hubli, Sanjeev and Ruthwik. Across as we move to the Sri Manjanateshwara English School from Dharwad and representing them are Sujai and Pallavi. As we move across to our first team from Davangere here today, the Jain Public School, representing them Atul and Saurabh. And the other team from Davangere with us is BSSR Public School, and they are Anirudh and Avinash. Completing our lineup here today, last but certainly not the least from Darwad, JSS Public School, Shivani and Rithyunjai. It's time to pick action on the first frontier. Ten teams. We've seen who they are. Let's now see what their financial quotient is. Financial Quest will pick action on our first frontier. It's time to cross over. On the first frontier, what we're going to show you is a crossword puzzle. And on this crossword puzzle, we will be going clockwise, which means we will go starting with team number one to team number ten. You will choose the number that you want to play. And then I ask you the clue for that particular number. If you get it right, you get 10 points. If you don't know the answer, it passes to the next team. Whoever gets it right gets 10 points. I'm going to open the first one just to make life easy for Manjunateshwara Central School. We'll open six across. There we go. Okay, so PIN opens up as a dummy for you. Manjunateshwara Central School, take your pick. Four down. Starting with you, your clue. I am one word to describe a part of a person's income that is not spent. Is it savings? Is it savings is a question. It's a nice way of answering. You're asking me whether you are right. You are right. Okay, hands to go. Good start here today in Hubli, first team off to 10. As we go across to our second team, K Boards English School, what do you want to play? Seven down. Seven down starting with the letter P is your choice. It is a word used to describe a contract of insurance which gives you the terms, coverage, premium and deduction details. What's it called? Policy. Very good. Put your hands together for them. As we move across to Aditya and Shubang, take your pick. Two down. Two down is your choice. I am a term used to describe a formal relationship between two or more people or two or more organizations aiming to conduct business for a mutual benefit. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, not entrepreneurship. Across to DK Public. They're not trying as well. DK from Hubli, Rashtrathana. Accountings. It's not accounting. On my left to Parivartan. 
Mutual Mut funds. Not mutual mm -hmm. funds. Okay. Manjunath Eshwara. Agreement. It's not an agreement. Without a letter, it can be difficult. Jane Public. Mutualism. Mutualism. That's a new word. Passing you on mutualism. Corporates. Passing you. Passing you moving across JSS Public. Not trying. On my right, Manjunath Eshwara. Partnership. Put your hands together. Absolutely right on partnership. As we move across to our fourth team here today, which will take their choice. And the team which will now pick is DK Public School, Hubli. One across. Total amount of goods or services available for purchase. What's the word to describe this? The world of economics, a shortage of this can create price rise. Passing you. Moving across to Rashtratana. Supply. Clever. Put your hands together for them. Supply is a very, very important word in the world of economics. To you, take your pick, Rashtratana. Go ahead. Five across. Five across. Starting with a V is your choice. When an interest rate keeps changing over a period of time on a deposit or a loan amount, what is it called? Vericity. Vericity. Passing you on vericity. Parivartan. Variable. Put your hands together. It's a variable interest. What do you want to play? Three down. Written agreement between a landlord and a tenant. Defining period of tenancy to a property. Loans. 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 Passing you on loan. No, it's not a loan that you sign with a landlord. Landlord and a tenant. Manjunateshwara. Passing you to Jane Public. Lease. Clever. Put your hands together. A lease is a good answer. And 10 points to Jane Public School. Manjunateshwara, English medium. Ten Take down. your pick. 10 down. It is a word commonly used by banks to refer to a written record or documentation of a transaction. Chain Public School. Pass. Across. JSSR. Pass. JSS Public. Pass. Manjunateshwara. Pass. K.E. Boats. Pass. Sakare. Pass. Oh, DK Public. It's not difficult. Your parents would do this regularly going to a bank. Passing you. Rashtratana. Pass. Oh, everyone in Hubli passing this one, unless Parivartan is going to crack it. Check. Check. No. The right answer that we were looking for is the simple word entry. Jane Public, take your pick. 11 across. It is a term used to describe the process of paying back money which is previously borrowed from someone. Repayment. Clever. Put your hands together. Repayment. You'll give them 10 points. The process of returning money to you. Eight down. SSR, take your pick. Eight down. Money that is withdrawn from a business or from an account by the owners over a period of time is described by this word. Passing you to JSS Public. Passing you to Manjunateshwara Central School. KE Boats. Passing you. That's taking two dong. Over to MR Sakre. Choose to pass. DK. Pass. Rashtratana. Pass. On my left. Parivartan. Pass. Manjunateshwara. Pass. Chain Public. Pass. Oh, tough one at Hubli here today. The answer that I was looking for is the word drawings you keep drawing money and over a period of time it's called your drawings and the final team that's going to play their choice between 9 and 12 JSS public Darwad. 9 across a value that is arrived at by adding all the numbers in a particular set together and dividing them by the quantity of numbers in that set if you are spending money every month you total all your expenditure and you divide it by the number of months. 
What does this give you? Average. Clever. It gives you your average expenditure. Well thought out, well answered. There's a little bit of mathematics in the world of finance and economics as well. So they'll get that right. Very early days here today at this quiz here in Hubli. On the other side, we'll take a first look at where the teams stand. Till then, we need to take a very quick break. On the other side, all the action. Stay with us.